have you ever wondered how ice cream was made, packaged, and sold? Well, so did these Fresno State students. I think the coolest part about it is that you learn about all these things in class, and sometimes you, you don't really get to experience it, and so knowing I have this experience um, makes it so enjoyable because I'm no, like this is what I want to do. Food science majors who are interested in creating delicious treats are getting hands-on experience alongside Daniel Avila, who has been in the game for a while. So everything is it's pretty hands-on here. Uh, we don't pre-order pre-labeled containers. Uh, again, since we make so many different flavors and different sizes, uh, we basically have our main label where we're able to type what flavor uh, we want it to be and then we also type up our, our ingredients uh, uh, on a separate label and that way if we decide to improve on a flavor uh, all we have to do is change the ingredients on that one label or if we want to create a, a new flavor we don't have to order new packaging it's something we can create very easily here. But what's the next step in this tasty process to getting the ice cream to customers? Right here in Fresno State's very own creamery, students are doing just that. Packing it up and moving it out so it can make its way to the Gibson Farm Market. This is um, caramel toffee, and it's really good, and all ice cream companies should make it, but they don't. Um, so I only get it when I'm here to see my aunt. Making customers happy one scoop at a time, there's no chance Fresno State ice cream will ever melt away. Deja Wright, Fresno State Focus.